Hi guys, this is Taylor Seaton with Topaz Labs, and I'll be demonstrating how to use the dehaze adjustment. The dehaze adjustment is this awesome tool that allows you to reverse the effect of haze, fog, or smoke to yield a clearer image that has rejuvenated saturation and contrast. Now let's get started. First we will do a beginner level image, and then we'll move on to a more advanced image. I'm going to go ahead and collapse the effects panel and the workspace panel to give us a little bit more room. I'm going to click the More button and then add Dehaze. You'll see it automatically populate in the Adjustment panel with the default parameters of 0, 0. The Strength slider, like its name, will increase the overall strength of the Dehaze adjustment. Let's look at how it affects this image. If when adding the dehaze adjustment, you see any artifacts appear in your image, you can suppress those with the Suppress Artifacts slider. And that's how easy the dehaze adjustment is. Now let's move on to the next image. I'm going to collapse this again. For this image, we'll be using two dehaze adjustments, as well as some adjustment level masking. So let's add the first dehaze adjustment. For this one, we'll be focusing on the heavy haze that's back here. So don't look at how it affects your foreground. So I'm going to up the strength until it brings back those details. Suppress a little bit of the artifacts. Now I'm going to add an enhancement. An enhancement is just like an adjustment, but instead of affecting your overall image, it only affects the adjustment that it's connected to. I'll use the basic adjustment. Now you can go down here to the saturation and lower the overall saturation so that the sky looks more natural. Don't look at how it affects anywhere else. We're only focusing on this area right here. So I'm satisfied with that. Now we'll go to the adjustment level masking. I'm going to use the brush masking. And I'm just going to brush out my foreground. As long as you keep the edge of the mountain in between the green and red circle, our masking will do the heavy work for you. You can check out the mask preview over here to make sure that you got all the areas. I'm going to switch this and touch up just ever so slightly right here. Okay. Now I'm going to add the second dehaze adjustment. And this time I'll be focusing on the foreground. This one doesn't have to be quite so strong. For the second dehaze adjustment, I don't want it to overlap on this back area over here. So I'm going to copy this mask, and then I'm going to paste the mask onto our second dehaze adjustment. Then you'll click on your adjustment level masking, and you'll invert it so that it's only affecting the foreground. And here's your before and after. And that's all I have for today, guys. Thanks for watching.